All right, so from the front porch, you come right inside to the living room. Yes, a hunter lives here. <laughs> so we do have a nice updated ceiling fan and light fixture. And I love these beams. They actually also run through the room next door. So that's a nice continuous feature. So right here at my feet, uh, we do have an entryway uh, with a tile floor. And then the rest of the living room is carpeted. Okay, and then it flows into the kitchen, which is an Eden space. So you've got all kinds of cabinets. including this pantry cabinet here. The black appliances will stay. You've got the refrigerator, the electric range. There is a vent hood. Of course, this is a brick veneer backsplash, which you may love it just the way it is. Uh, or I can also recommend doing a whitewash technique and it would look like a subway tile. And then there is a dishwasher here and a sink that would have a view, but this lovely gazebo, which is going to stay, is right outside that kitchen window. So that is the access to the deck through this slider door. So like I said, the beams are a really cool feature. You've got the eat-in space. This is a vinyl you know, or linoleum floor. I do want to also point out that this front picture window, which is about eight feet wide, it's all one unit, um, that's actually about to get replaced. It's been on order for several weeks. You can see that the panes of glass have seen beyond their lifetime uh, in those, in you know, the large one and then the upper right window there. So there will be a brand new window going in here very soon. And this window is also a replacement window. There's Heather, my photographer, don't mind her. Um, this one uh, didn't actually ever used to be here. This was just a solid wall. Uh, but at some point they wanted to have that light uh, looking out to that side of the yard, so. All right, down the hall on the left is the one bathroom in the house. Again, there's a linoleum floor. Yes, we have an avocado green toilet, which matches the tub. I think it's gonna come back in style, so get rid of it if you must, but I think it's cool. And there is a white vanity, nice updated overhead light and a mirror. And in this bathroom is also the laundry. Super duper convenient having laundry on the first floor. There's a window. Okay, so then off the hallway, if I keep going, the door on my left is the basement. This is what I'm gonna call bedroom number one. It's what he uses as the master bedroom. It's the only bedroom on the back side of the house. So there is a small closet room for a tall dresser as well as a long dresser with a mirror. Right across the hall is what I call bedroom number two. This one is set up with two twin beds, more windows in this room. So there's carpeting throughout these two bedrooms. This one also has a larger closet. So you may choose to make this one into the master. For more storage space, there is also the skull hatch to get up into the attic from here. There is a linen closet right here at the end of the hallway. And then the third bedroom, this one has an upgraded floor. This is a really nice laminate wood floor. It's got a twin bed in here and it's also set up as an office. And there is a closet in here as well. OK, 
Okay, let's head on down to the basement. Gate there in case you need to corral your doggies. So at the bottom of the stairs, you can go left or you can go right. I'm gonna go right first. There's potential for an awesome rec room space down here. You can see this little elevated concrete pad used to have a wood stove sitting on it, but it was going into the same flue as the boiler. So the wood stove is no longer, so you could get rid of that if you didn't want that. And while we're talking about the boiler, I do just want to point out it is brand new, less than a year old, a Wheel McLean gold boiler. So also over here, we've got the water system. You can see that there is a water softener and a filter. Pressure tank and there's a jet pump. All looks really great condition. This is a poured concrete foundation. Of course, we've got a, a dehumidifier running. Who doesn't have one running right now? It's been a super wet summer. So behind this wall, there is actually a storage room so don't mind the mess, this is where we've been putting stuff away out of sight, but awesome to have a totally separate space with doors so you can close this whole storage room off and enjoy this board and batten feature wall. So this would make a great home gym or a game room if you had a ping pong table, pool table space for the big screen TV maybe. So on this side, it's what I call the workshop. You've got the oil tank. And there is a built-in bench that will stay. And then there is a door that normally closes out to the garage. So it's the one car under garage in here. The electrical panel is back here. I'm going to try to get as close as I can. There you go. That's been replaced. So I will point out that the insulation in this garage uh, is not covered by sheetrock. So that's a project that some lenders, government-backed loans might require, like an FHA loan. Seller's not going to do that project. Um, but the pieces of insulation that are missing that have fallen down, he is going to be putting those back up. He does already have the insulation, so that will get taken care of, but it will not be sheetrocked for fire code. That will be up to somebody else. All right, so that is the whole house in a nutshell. I hope you've enjoyed this tour. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to get you answers.